Hey guys, in today's video, I want to show you how to make money on YouTube by reusing other people's videos. What that means is that you don't need to create your own videos from scratch. If you're smart about it, you can reuse other people's videos 100% legally. And we're also going to be analyzing a channel that makes as much as $44,000 per month just from ad revenue alone in this video and exactly how they do it and how you can start a similar channel. The channel that I want to analyze with you today is called The Cooking Foodie and it's a channel, of course, in the cooking niche, in the recipe niche. It's a type of channel that anyone who's watching this video can start. If you're watching this, you can start a channel on cooking, a channel on recipes, following the tips that I'm going to share with you in this video. You can also implement this method in pretty much any niche out there, but I like to work with an example. So I'm going to take you through the example of how to do this in the cooking niche, but you can totally do it in any niche that you want. Now, first of all, let's analyze this channel, The Cooking Foodie, in the tool called socialblade.com. And if we look at the statistics of this channel for the last 30 days, you can see that they're currently getting uh, anywhere from three to 600,000 views per day. Now this is per day, 300,000 to 600,000 views per day. And their estimated earnings, and this is from ad revenue alone, is anywhere between $200 to $3,000 per day. So they publish very simple videos with recipes. Some of their videos are less than one minute long. So this is known as YouTube Shorts videos. Uh, a lot of their view videos are getting a lot of views. So you can see there are tens of thousands of views on pretty much all of the videos that they upload. How do they make this up to $44,000 per month? Well, a big chunk of it will come from YouTube ads. So at the start of their videos and maybe throughout their videos, there will be ads shown and then of course, the creator of this channel, The Cooking Foodie, is getting paid a certain amount for each of the ads that are shown. They also sell, uh, they have an online shop, so there is a link in each of the description for each of the videos, there is a link to visit their online shop where they sell certain uh, things, certain items. Now, if you don't have your own stuff to sell, that's totally fine because you could just insert affiliate links where you can recommend various things for people to buy on Amazon through your affiliate link so that you can get paid anytime somebody buys something on Amazon from your affiliate link. Okay, so step one of this process, if you want to make money on YouTube by simply reusing other people's videos is to sign up for a program called invideo.io. The link to InVideo is just in the description below. Make sure that you go via my link if you want to get a special 25% discount to any of the premium plans, should you choose to later upgrade. Now, InVideo is, uh, has a free pricing tier, which is totally fine for you to start with. And you can see, once you click the link in the description below, you can see it says, try now, it's free, no credit card required. You do not need to provide your credit card in order to use this method in order to get started. So when you click the link in the description below, you will uh, be able to see that there are three plans. There is a free plan, there is a business plan, which starts at $15 a month and unlimited plan, which starts at $30 per month. So you guys can totally do the method that I'm going to show you today with just the free plan. The only sort of downside is going to be that there is going to be a little in video watermark on the final output of the video, but that's totally fine because it's free, right? Um, and you will still have access to a lot of video templates, uh, media library, automated text to speech feature, and you can create videos up to 15 minutes in length. So it's totally fine to get started. But if you do later at any point in time, as your business is growing, you decide to upgrade and you want to go for a business or for an unlimited plan. If you go via my link and use my coupon, this coupon over here, and the coupon is also going to be in the description in the description below you will actually get a 25% discount to these plans. So it's not even going to be $15 per month or $30 per month. There's going to be a 25% discount. Okay, so just to show you how it works, if you do ever decide to upgrade in the future, you can click this upgrade button and then choose either the business or the unlimited plan. So for example, if I go this business plan, see how it says 180 per year. Over here, you can actually choose, or, or if you go for the monthly one, uh, you can choose have a coupon code so click have a coupon code and enter the promo code so i've got a ex uh, special exclusive coupon code which is cb25 okay and to use it you need to go via my link in the description below click apply 
and that will take the price down to 135 per year. So you can see it now says coupon applied 25% off. Okay, so now let's continue. Um, for, throughout this video, I'm actually going to be using a free plan just to show you that you totally can do it with a free plan as well. Okay guys, so step two is to find the idea and the keywords for your video. And as I mentioned before, you can do this method with any niche that you can possibly think of for the purposes of this video, we are going to be using the cooking and the recipe niche. And generally the way that I come up with uh, topics or with, with ideas for videos on my channels is by looking at other channels and what they have published about. So you can open any cooking channel or whichever niche you decide to go with. The process is totally the same. And then you can start taking a look at their videos and we're going to go through the process of analyzing their titles of their videos to see if there is a lot of competition or if this is a good idea potentially for you to make a video on this topic. So let's open this video up and it says cucumber salad recipe. Now, what I normally do is I open a new page in YouTube and then I search for this uh, keyword so cucumber salad recipe which was this video that we we're looking at before cucumber salad recipe okay i then take a look at the vidiq statistics and i take a look in particular at this which is the overall score volume score and competition score so this tells me if this is a popular search term and if there is a lot of competition for this search term or not if you don't have vidiq go ahead and install the free version of the vidiq toolbar it's a very helpful tool so just google for vidiq toolbar like this and it will take you to this page where you can install the chrome extension that will take you to the chrome extension store and you can download this and then after you've installed it you will uh, get access to the same statistics like this so that you can see the different scores for the various search terms that you want to analyze. So for cucumber salad recipe, I can see that there is a good amount of, of volume and the competition is medium, which is actually pretty good. Now, if your channel is brand new, it is a good idea for you to focus on keywords that potentially are more in the green zone where the competition is kind of medium to low or a little bit lower than, than medium anyway. So you can continue trying different titles so then let's say we can try this easy squid game cookie recipe so probably the keyword that they are uh, tr that they're targeting here is squid game cookie recipe right that would be or easy squid game cookie recipe so we can take that and we can plug that into our search over here okay and now we can actually see that the competition for this is high as we continue scrolling down and uh, taking a look at the various videos and various keywords let's take a look at this one swedish almond cake recipe so let's analyze that okay so i'm going to type that in uh, swedish almond cake recipe and here we go now we found a good keyword see here it says volume is 47 and competition is low so if the competition is low that means that even a new channel like for example if you've just started a channel that means that your channel if you make a video on this topic Swedish almond cake recipe you will have a pretty good chance of ranking in the uh, first maybe five or ten results on YouTube search and getting a lot of free search traffic so that is how to find keywords anything that says that the competition is medium or low is totally okay for the purposes of this video let's go with the keyword homemade sneakers buzz this one over here why well I've always liked sneakers since when I was a kid. Uh, so yeah, just a bit of special attachment to this keyword. So let's just use that as an example. The competition for homemade sneakers bar is medium. So this is totally okay. New channels can still rank for medium keywords. So let's use that as an example. And now we can move on to step three, making the actual video. So how do you now create a video? Ideally without creating it all yourself from scratch and how do you do this using the InVideo software? Now just a quick reminder in case you fast forwarded to this step, you can sign up for the InVideo free account using my link in the description below. It's a special link that I've got that will allow you to later use a 25% discount code 
NVIDIA has um, two types of plans. There is a free plan and there is a paid plan. Okay, if for this video, all you need is just a free plan. The free plan is sufficient. I'm actually here, the account that I'm gonna be doing this on is a free plan account. But if later you decide to upgrade to a paid version, if you use my link, you'll be able to get a 25% discount. Okay, so let's just say if later you decide to upgrade and you click this upgrade button and you choose either the business or the unlimited plan, uh, you will be able to use this coupon. See now it's applied because I have already applied the coupon code earlier in the video, but for you, there will be a special field here that will say enter coupon and you can enter my exclusive coupon CB25 to get a 25% discount on all the premium plans. InVideo is a great video editor and it also has got a lot of other functions that are gonna be really useful for you. So, um, I'm here just as a reminder, I'm doing all of this using a free plan, okay? So once you are inside your account, you need to go into here where it says blank canvas and this way we can start a new video. Then you will need to choose the dimension of your video. We want to go with the wide, so we're creating kind of like a normal format YouTube video, not a vertical uh, or a short YouTube video. So we've got blank canvas, white, and then we're gonna click make a video that will open up a brand new uh, video file for us that we can sort of edit and uh, and then eventually make a video out of it. Within this editor, we're going to be editing and creating our video. I'm gonna show you how simple and easy it is to do this. Now the video that we want to make is about homemade sneakers by recipe, right? And as I told you at the start of this video and in the thumbnail, we're going to be doing this by reusing other people's videos. So here is the cool trick. I hope you guys love this. Let's type this in sneakers recipe like this. Okay. And then we're going to be using the filters functionality and we're going to choose creative commons videos. Okay. So once again, I'll just show you filters and then creative commons videos. What this will do is it will show you the results for just the creative commons videos. Okay. Just creative commons videos. And what is Creative Commons? This is a special license that allows you legally to reuse other people's videos. For example, if we take a look at this video here, so that's a video that's three minutes and 52 seconds long. Let's open this up. Now, if I scroll down to this section over here where it says license, okay, so in the description, it says license, Creative Commons attribution license, reuse allowed. Now guys, this means that YouTube officially allows you to reuse this video and the author of this video. So the channel owner, Delicious Martha, she has specifically marked this video to be Creative Commons, which basically means that you can download this video and you can edit it, you can take parts of it and you can use it as your own in your YouTube work. How cool is that? That means that you don't have to create your videos from scratch. You can actually reuse other people's videos and it is 100% legal. It is allowed by the owner of the channel and it is allowed by YouTube as well. Here it is from YouTube themselves. They're saying Creative Commons, the definition of it, Creative Commons license give a standard way for content creators to grant someone else permission to use their work. Once again, YouTube are saying in black and white that Delicious Martha, the owner of this video, she made this video and she said it's okay for others to reuse as long as you attribute the owner of this video in your description, which we're going to do step by step. But for now, what we need to do is we need to download this video because we're going to be reusing it. Uh, so let me show you how to down download this video. For this, you will need to download a program called VLC Media Player. You might already have it on your computer because a lot of people have got this program installed. It's 100% safe and it's a very popular software that has been around for decades. So just type in VLC Media Player and then go onto the download page and download and install your version of VLC Media Player, whichever one is right for you, whether it's Windows or Mac. Once you've got VLC Media Player installed, you will need to go into Media and then click on this option here, which is Open Network Stream, like this. And then you will need to enter a network URL. So this is where you need to paste in the URL of the video that you want to download. 
You guys can use, of course, any of these videos in any niche on any topic for any keyword, but because we're doing this uh, sneakers recipe, I want to use uh, this video. I like to use sort of shorter videos because they're quicker uh, to edit, but you can totally download a lot of videos and stitch them all into one or go with longer videos as well. But now let's open this video and we need to take this link over here, the YouTube video link. So let's copy that and we're going to go into VLC Media Player, paste that in and click play. So the video is now playing inside the VLC Media Player and in order for us to finish download, we need to go into this tools option at the top and click contact, in contact information. And then at the bottom where it says location, just select uh, what you can do is like triple click on it if you if you click three times this will select everything or press control a once you are in here press control a you basically need to select all of this from start to finish you need to select all of it okay and once you've done that click copy and open it in a browser window so here we go a new browser tab i'm just going to paste in what we copied and this will start playing now that we've got this playing in this window in our browser, we can click these three dots over here and see how it says download here. Now you're actually able to download this file as MP4. So just give it a name here at the bottom. So you can say something like sneakers original file. Okay. And it says sneakers original file MP4 and click save and that will download and save this file on your computer. Let's now go back to in video and on the left hand side where you've got all the different options to uh, insert video or image, all the editing options, go to uploads and click upload media and let's upload our file. So here I'm going to uh, find that file that we've just uh, downloaded, sneakers original file and let's click upload. It'll just take a moment to upload. Once your file is uploaded, you can drag and drop it into this scene. Under the options, it will ask you what you would like to do. Would you like to trim your video before adding it to the scene? Uh, the time to start this clip, the time to finish this clip. I actually want to use the full video. So I want the full three minutes and 51 seconds. So I'm going to click use full video over here and that will insert a new scene, like a new part uh, of the movie into the editor with the whole video in there. So I'm just going to hide this panel so that you can see what I am doing. And you can use these zoom controls to um, zoom in and out of the video as you need. Okay, so let's just kind of preview what is actually going on here. So I can click play and that will start playing. We still got this default text, which we don't need. So I'm just going to click delete on this. Uh, that um, that was sort of like some default text when we first created the video file. Okay, so let's just keep playing. So basically now we've just got that uh, whole uh, video that we downloaded, right? Uh, that is, it's now starting to play and it's starting to list the different ingredients that are needed to make the sneakers uh, uh, recipe. It's always a good idea to make some slight changes to the video so you can actually edit uh, and like add a couple of extra images, maybe a couple of extra videos uh, to this video to make it slightly different from the original. And to do that, you can create a new scene. So like this, we can go scene, blank scene, yes. And that will give us an opportunity to create a new scene. And for example, we might go into images and the great thing about in video is that it comes with built-in video and uh, and images that you can use as your own. So for example, if we go into images, even with a free plan, there are a lot of images that you will be able to use. Of course, if you upgrade to a premium plan, you can also use what's called iStock results that gives you millions and millions more images. But for now, let's just type in sneakers, for example, like this. Okay, and that gives me some uh, examples here of, of different images that I can use. So let's just take this first one. I'm going to drop that in here and where it says build your own scene, I'm going to delete this text and let's make it a little bit bigger so that the sneakers image covers the whole screen. So like this looks good and see how now this has created this new scene over here. I actually can uh, drag it, uh, grab it and drag it to the front because I want it to be the first thing. And I want to perhaps put in some text like this. So I'm just going to choose text and let's overlay 
some text, right? So there are some pre-made styles already over here that you can use. As an example, uh, maybe I want to use this one that says modern. So let's just drag that over here. And now we can make it uh, into our own text. So we can say homemade sneakers recipe like this. Let's make it a little bit bigger. All right. So just like that, we've got this really cool text bar over here. And in video, even the free version has got a ton of effects that you can use. So if I click on this and then I click animate, okay, you can see like there's so many different things that you can do. Um, you can read all the text files for how to do this, where it says animate, so text animation, let's say in and cool. So this has already applied this animation. Let's preview how this all looks together. So I'm just going to click play. So see now this recipe uh, text pops up and then the actual recipe starts playing. And guys, guess what? You have made this uh, video your own. Okay. You've taken a video that is 100% legal for you to use. You have edited it. You've made it a little bit different. You are allowed to use this because this is licensed under the creative commons. Okay. License. So that means that you you've got full rights to reuse it. And of course you can go ahead and you can do a lot more edits. You can, you know, cut out different parts. You can maybe try to make this video better. Like one of the things that I noticed that this video just says here sugar, but it doesn't say how much. Um, and you can just add text, for example, that says how much sugar to use or how much of each ingredient to use at each step. Once you're happy with the video, um, you can download this video. So just click this option here where it says download and share. You will be able to export this video in 720p definition. If you want it to be 1080p, you will need to go to and upgrade to the premium plan. Uh, as I mentioned to you guys, you can get a free plan by clicking the link in the description below. Uh, if you use my link, then later, if you do decide to upgrade and if you want the 1080p uh, definition in your videos, and if you want access to all the premium features such as the uh, stock images, stock videos, etc then you can upgrade with a 25% off discount using my coupon CB25. Just enter that in the, um, in the checkout when you're upgrading. There's actually a ton of other options here in, in video as well. So there are stock videos. So for example, if you wanted to insert uh, some extra scenes with cooking, you can just type in video cooking and um, let's just take out the premium media results just to show you there are look how many free images. So even with a free account, you can use all of these videos. These are actual videos that are that are recorded that you can use as your own in your videos just to make it a little bit unique. Of course, if you then include iStock and premium media, which come with their premium plans, you'll have a lot more uh, of high quality videos and images to use as your own. There is also music that you can use if you want to add a little bit of extra atmosphere to your video. You can use the any of these music you can search. There are thousands and thousands of different music tracks that are included in here as well. There are uh, colors, you know, text effects. Basically, you can really make your video look amazing once you learn how to use the InVideo program. So for now, let's export and download this here. So you can just click this button here, download. This video is just rendering, so it'll take a moment or two. It, it says while this is rendering. Okay, so just give it a moment or two. Once it's ready, you can click download and you will download this video in the MP4 format to your computer. All right, so let's review everything that we have done so far. We've found an awesome niche that you, if you're watching this, you can succeed in this niche, which is the cooking and the recipe niche. We found the channel that we know doing amazingly well that's got 2 million subscribers and you can certainly build up your way to that many subscribers or more using uh, the method that I'm, I'm showing you in this video. Okay, so we know that this channel is doing really well. We know that they're getting a lot of views. We know that they're getting hundreds of thousands of views to their recipes every single day and we know that they may be making as much as 44 thousand dollars per month just from ad revenue plus uh, you can monetize these videos in a lot of other ways with affiliate uh, revenue for example as well we've also learned how to find really really cool and easy keywords to rank for as an example we found this keyword here homemade sneakers bars recipe and we know that this particular keyword is has got a decent volume and the competition is quite low and we also learned how to then create videos on this keyword as well. 
I've shown you an awesome way to create videos by reusing other people's videos 100% legally. So now we're just going to move on to the final step, which is how to upload your video and what to do to make sure that you're actually getting views to your video. Go into your YouTube Studio dashboard and click uh, the upload video option, select the file. I'm going to give you a few tips on how to write your title and your description, what to put in your description to make sure that you get as many views as possible. So let's choose that video that we have created this video over here, open and YouTube will of course start uploading it the way that it normally does. And here there are a couple of things that you can do to make sure that your video is as successful as possible. So. The first thing that you need to do is to make sure that you insert the keyword that you're trying to target into the title of your video, preferably at the start of the actual video. So we can call it like this sneakers homemade buzz recipe, something like that sneakers homemade buzz recipe, fast, easy, delicious. Then you will want to also mention this same keyword that you're targeting somewhere in your description, preferably towards the start of your description. And you can get some inspiration from the other channels to see how they're doing it and write a description similar to theirs. So as an example here, this first video over here, homemade sneakers bars, see how it's a fairly small channel, 3.78 thousand subscribers. They rank as number one for it, which is awesome. So uh, clearly they've done something right. We can get some ideas from them. Let's see how they have written their description. All right, so you can take a look at the first paragraph that they have written and write something similar for yourself as well. So I've written, follow this uh, awesome sneakers, homemade bars recipe to make delicious sneakers, chocolate at home quickly and easily. You can write a few more things in here, but what I highly recommend that you do is insert some affiliate links because if your channel is new, perhaps you're not yet monetized and you're not yet accepted into the uh, YouTube Partners program, so you may not be able to earn ad revenue straight away. But what you can do is you can monetize your videos with affiliate links. The simplest way to do this is probably to sign up to Amazon Associates and then to recommend uh, various uh, cooking appliances or cooking utensils from the uh, Amazon store. So go sign up to Amazon Associates and go through the process and um, sign up for an account. You should be able to be accepted virtually straight away. Uh, currently, Amazon are accepting very, very quickly. And once you've got your affiliate links, you can find some relevant products and insert the affiliate links into the description. Let's say if you wanted to promote this mixer over here or this mixer over here, uh, all you really need to do is to just click on it and um, grab this product ID here from the very top. See where it says DP slash. Uh, so just copy that and then go into your Amazon Associates account, enter that product ID over here, click go and it will load it over here. And then you will be able to select this option to create your link. It says get link just over here. I like to shorten my links to make sure that they are nice and short like this and then just copy that and then come back into your description and where it says my favorite mixer for cooking, insert your affiliate link like this. So then you can build out your description, insert a few affiliate links and anyone who is watching your video when they scroll through the description and many people do, uh, you know, probably five to 10% of all viewers end up reading through a description. Many of them will click these affiliate links and even if you're not yet approved for the YouTube ads partner program, you can still make money from people clicking the Amazon affiliate link and buying certain things on Amazon through your link. So in order to grow a couple of things that I wanted to mention, you do need to create about 20 to 30 videos before you firstly get good at creating videos. Secondly, before your channel kind of starts getting a little bit of authority and before uh, YouTube starts promoting some of your videos. That's just how it works. You can't really expect to make one video and become super successful. Unfortunately, that's not how it works. Um, with all of your videos, make sure that you insert affiliate links because you will at least start making, getting some clicks over to Amazon and hopefully making some affiliate commissions as well. And in order to get accepted into Google partners and start uh, uh, being monetized with ads on YouTube, you need to have two things. You need to have 1000 subscribers and you need to have about 4000 watch hours before you can get accepted into Google partners program. So it does potentially, you know, if you're just starting out, it might sound like thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours is a lot. But once you get into the swing of things, just you know, be persistent. You can get there. Uh, I started with zero subscribers and zero watch hours as well. We, we kind of all did. Um, if you're persistent, if you learn, you will get there quicker than you think. Well, now you know how to make money on YouTube by reusing other people's videos. 
Watch this video over here next to learn how to make YouTube videos automatically. I'm gonna show you a very cool software solution that will auto create videos for you, which is really awesome. So go ahead and watch this right now. But before you do that, just hit the like button just below this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.